Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. and today I want to talk about the ENFP personality type and why ENFPs are wise beyond their years and more wise than popular stereotypes convey. So yeah, popular stereotypes tend to convey the ENFP personality type as sometimes childish and immature, sometimes crazy, reckless, an adre adrenaline junkie who jumps before they look, who acts before they think, who speaks before they have reflected on and thought about what they believe. That has no basis in reality. Some ENFPs may be like that, but outgoingness I found is not the same as extroversion and that is something you develop. Now, on to the topic. What I've found when you study the ENFP is the ENFP has, yes, a tendency to search for opportunity they investigate you know they're analyzing what's happening around them the trends and patterns and they're making connections and they're seeing where is that going what's headed here what's going to happen next they're reading the room they're reading the people they're reading the events around them and they are reading them and they see a kind of uh, multi-levelness to all those things that it could be this or it could be that or it could be that there are multiple kinds of possibilities here that are emerging options to all the things that you experience all these things coming from being an intuitive and perceiving type now all those things are part of who the ENFP is the ENFP can be very affectionate at their best they are very moral people they have very strong morality they have a very strong sense of how we should live and how we should behave and how we should treat one another they are not this uh, popular stereotypes suggest about extroverted feelers going to live in accordance with what other people think. They're going to have their own opinions about how we all should live and treat one another. As feeling perceiving types, they are also very honest and modest. So these are the base ENFP personality traits. But when you look at the ENFP worldview, when you study the ENFP's shadow functions, you're encountered with another important, interesting possibility, and that is uh, the ENFP's INFJ consciousness. So the ENFP has an almost INFJ worldview, an INFJ's projected beliefs and opinions and values and experiences of life. When you look at and sit down and talk with an ENFP, the, cons the conversations and the discussions and the topics and how they see things reveal something about the ENFP. It reveals ENFPs are far wiser than most. They are perhaps one of the most wise personality types. Over time, as ENFPs develop, all those things, all those opportunities they test out, all those things they check out, all those patterns they notice, all those things they experience, all those uh, moral dilemmas they are put in front of, all those experiences they've had and all those discussions they've had, like all those questions they've asked, add up to a great deal of wisdom and intelligence. And that's something I am always baffled with when I sit down and talk with the ENFPs. They are nothing like stereotypes project them as. They are shown to be extremely bright individuals they believe nothing just because they have been told it they study they question they see and they have kind of a natural awareness of how things should be they don't need uh, to rationalize or come up with a logical explanation of things they just naturally know how things are meant to be and how we are supposed to treat one another and how we are supposed to live together so these things they are they are natural to the ENFP. It's not th something they have to deduce or something they have to uh, come up with or explain with logic or facts or data. It's something they just know. We should not be treating each other that way. We should not hurt one another. We should not do this. We should not do that. We should do this. We should do that. So those are things the ENFP just knows. Now I said ENFPs have an INFJ consciousness and that's very interesting. Like what I mean is... Um, they have a set of supporting beliefs that come from introverted intuition, introverted feeling, feeling judging, and intuitive judging. So some of those beliefs are, first, there is a greater destiny for all of us. There is some kind of abstract path that we can never know for certain, but we are all headed down this path. There is a destiny. That's something I notice very strongly in most ENFPs, that there is a belief in a sense of destiny or a fate of sorts. So then, there is a greater existential truth that we can never know for sure. 
So ENFPs know there is a greater existential truth to life. There is a secret to how we should live, how we should be, how we should treat one another. Now the ENFP, they notice one thing that's very important. You can never know this for sure. So what you notice when you talk about and talk with the INFJs is we INFJs, we have this theory for how to live, how to be, how to treat one another. ENFPs, they know they can never know this. So they don't theorize, they don't speculate. They don't because they know you can never know for sure. It's just a speculation. It's just a theory. You can never know for sure. So the ENFP has an openness here, a sense of uh, just uh, awareness of uh, how little we can really know and how little we can know for sure. Still, what I note this is uh, because the ENFP's introverted intuition and introverted feeling comes from the outside or is projected into the world around them, uh, it is something they feed on and something that gives them energy and something that gives them kind of uh, meaning and matter to life. So it makes them feel like life matters. The, just this awareness that there is a greater destiny, this awareness that there is some kind of secret, this is what gives the ENFP its motivation to be who they are. Because there is a great existential truth, they want to be the detectives that go out and study and learn and try things out and explore opportunities. And It makes them want to go out and live life to the fullest and it makes them want to go out and have experiences and to try things out and to test out and experiment about things. So. There is an awareness that uh, also we are all to some extent going to die. You know, this is an important part of the ENFP maturity. Uh, when they have that awareness and when they realize that, yeah, life is not forever. That's also something that gives the ENFP its kind of says to move, you know, to not to make the best out of life, to make the most out of life and out of living, to not waste your time, to not uh, like uh, miss out, to not. Uh, avoid and uh, isn't this perhaps what true wisdom is you know knowing that uh, we only have one life we only have one this one chance and this one opportunity and that we should make the most out of it isn't that how we should live if we were wise if we were enlightened shouldn't we all perhaps be living in scene of people's personality types just a thought experiment here just saying if we were enlightened about the greater spiritual truth or about life and we knew for sure for sure really for sure we didn't have to think about it anymore shouldn't we just live uh, the way ENFPs do now the INFJ projected worldview is uh, a grand motivator for the ENFP so when an ENFP doesn't know what to do they need to check this they need to constantly check this if an ENFP gets confused, if they get stuck, if they don't know where they're going, always go to your worldview because that's your fuel. I tend to see the shadow functions acting as uh, like the kind of carrot where um, the last two functions act as the whip. So uh, the INFJ support system acts as the carrot for the ENFP and uh, the ESTP side acts as the whip. So here what you're seeing is uh, what is going to allure you as an ENFP. What kind of environment do you want to live in to have maximum motivation and to feel maximum meaning? Well, you're going to want to surround yourself uh, with an organization or with people or in an environment where people act and believe in common values and a general code of conduct. Everyone should have and should act in accordance with some kind of social rules. How should we treat one another? How should we live toward and behave towards one another? What kind of people should we be? Everyone, uh, you want to meet people that have a very strong sense of who they are. That's very important as a feeling perceiving type. Meet people who have a very strong sense of who they are. Ask them questions. Who are you? What are you doing? Why do you do what you do? All those things are great, efficient motivators for the ENFP because that speaks to how you want to be. And that's the sense of finding out who you are. The ENFP finds out who they are, not by sitting for themselves and thinking, who am I? But by talking with people and in relationship to those people, learning, who am I then? If they are that, who am I then? So those conversations are always going to be very meaningful for you as an ENFP. Strong people who know who they are. Then... 
meet people and engage with organizations and workplaces that have a vision. People that have some kind of abstract goal they are working towards. It might not be easy to explain, but there should be some kind of abstract goal. It should be going somewhere. It should be a vision. There should be some kind of uh, idea for the future, a five-year plan, a ten-year plan. And you don't have to agree with that plan. But ENFPs feed on seeing how to realize vision. So when there is a vision, there is something to apply. Then you can use intuition and perceiving to apply that vision. Okay, how do I apply that vision now? What can I do to make that happen? Is that vision going to work? How is it going to play out if it plays in this moment? How do we apply this concept? How, we, how do we put this idea to practice? That's perfect for the ENFP. Then thirdly, when looking at introverted intuition, there should be some kind of existential system behind the organization People should live according to some kind of philosophical guideline or guidebook. There should be some kind of concept for why they do what they do. Some kind of uh, defined idea behind their actions. Some kind of defined or abstract notion that they are striving towards. So this goes beyond vision. This goes beyond... This is uh, their kind of uh, script. There should be a script to things. Uh, that people are trying to live in accordance with and apply in every situation. You should be the person that can apply that script and can say, so how do we do that then? So what does that mean now? So does that script suggest we should pick this option or that option? And finally, with the introverted feeling, and uh, this is something that is more discussed uh, than the others, uh, the ENFP should surround themselves by people who know themselves who know what their values are and that check their own intentions the enfp should surround themselves who live with people who have a sense of purpose and uh, who know who they are and who know why they live and for what reason so there should be an inten intention behind things there should be some kind of reason behind everything the organization shouldn't just do things because it's how they should be done the enfp hates being in organizations where there is no explanation, where people are just doing things blindly without thinking. The ENFP needs a reason and motive behind people's action. And the ENFP, as an interpersonal type, wants to be the person that figures out this motive and helps people achieve it. So ENFPs are often the supports and the cheerleaders in sense that share people on and who know, okay, this is who you are, this is what you want, this is what you aim towards. The ENFP wants to be the person that says, okay, so do it then. So go for it. What are you waiting for? The ENFP wants to be the person that says, so how are you going to do that then? And what are you going to do to make it happen? If that's what you believe, if that's what you want, how are you going to make that happen? Just work on these things because uh, these are your primary motivators as an ENFP. Think about yourself in your current situation or your current workplace or school environment or your classroom or your friends and family. Do they have this? And it's if they don't, that's fine. You know, they don't have to have it. It's not like uh, everywhere you go has to echo what you need. But for yourself, look at what are my sources of introverted intuition? What are my sources of introverted feeling? Where can I get feeling judging? Where can I get intuitive judging? Where can I find these things? So then start looking up. Okay, can I find it there? Can I find it there? Can I look at uh, a book club? Can I look at a new class, a new school, a new course to study? Can I look at a new organization? And then check that thing. Does these people have a vision? Do they have this? Like make that kind of checklist for yourself. Do they have that? Do they have this? Uh, note down for yourself what you want from where you go and what you want to work with and what you want to do with your life. And once again, a final message for the NFPs. You are far wiser than stereotypes portray. You are far more intelligent. You are far more interesting to talk with, uh, at least from an INFJ perspective, than uh, popular ideas portray you as. You have uh, kind of greater truth to life. You have a kind of... Uh, greater wisdom to life because Socrates always believed wisdom is to know how little you know and uh, wisdom is also that degree of open-mindedness that ENFPs possess all those things are 
traits of a highly intelligent mind and um, you are awesome thank you all for watching this video i'm glad to be back from my vacation there's gonna be a lot more videos coming up these next following weeks and maybe we're gonna hit 10,000 subscribers wouldn't that be amazing if we hit this 10,000 subscribers this week i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to what's to come this summer and i'll see you all in my next video